message after the tone. Hey Lex, it's Molly. Today's the day. My mom is shipping me off to prison, or sleepaway camp as she likes to call it. You know what to do. You can write me at 2147 Camp Starfall Drive, Dennistown, Maine, 42856. Molly, let's go. Coming, Mom. See you in a couple months. Sit down. Come on. Welcome to Camp Starfall Campers. First order of business is getting to know your counselors. We'll be together for the next seven weeks, so let's get to know each other. My name's Chris. Hey guys, I'm Rose. I'm the head counselor here. My dad owns the camp, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ricky. Jessica. My name's Abby. Anything you need, and I mean anything at all, please come to us. Yeah. Now let's go down the line and get to know all of you just a little bit better. Care to start us off? Sure. Hi everyone, my name's Donna. I'm from North Carolina and this is my third year at Camp Starfall. <laughs> Thanks Donna. Um, let's go down the line over here. Hi, I'm Nancy and I'm excited to be here this summer. <laughs> Thanks Nancy. Hi, my name's Evan. I'm from Florida. I've never been to summer camp before, but I have been to Juvie. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Hey guys, I'm Jason. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley and I'm so excited for this summer. Yeah. It's nice to meet you, Ashley. And you? Oh, my name's Molly and my mom pretty much hates me so she sent me here for the summer. <laughs> nice to meet you, Molly. I'm sure you all know my name's Lindsay. Well, now that we know everyone's names and whereabouts, let's move on to some official camp business. Our number one rule here at Camp Starfall is to have fun. <laughs> We're here for seven weeks, so let's make the most of it. We understand it can be hard living in such small bunks, but let's try to be respectful to everyone and try to get along. And we need to make sure to clean up after ourselves. Since so many of us are packed into such small cabins, we need to make sure our spaces are clean. Okay, so any questions so far? Uh, yes, Molly. Um, aren't sleepaway camps supposed to be a lot more crowded with a ton of people? Oh, well, Camp Starfall is a fairly new camp. Um, well, this year's group is actually our largest group yet. It's been my dad's dream to open up a camp like this, so we are just getting started here. Gotcha. Okay, great campers, let's all get settled in. We're gonna pass out your camp shirts now. Report to your prospective cabins, drop off your luggage, change into your camp shirts, and meet back in this pavilion at 1 p.m. sharp. All right, campers. Off you go! Thanks. 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 
204 to be back in business. I can't believe we're here. This summer's gonna be the best yet. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, you're awfully quiet now, aren't you? I just don't want to be here, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I like your sense of humor. Thanks. So what are you guys looking forward to most this summer? Spending seven weeks away from my annoying sister. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely campfires. Oh my gosh, s'mores. <laughs> I'm excited to tan. Can't do much of that in New York. What about you, Molly? What are you most excited for? for these next seven weeks to be over. All right then, anywho, Ashley, I see you've got the hots for Ricky. What? Oh, it's so obvious. Everyone can tell. Mm -hmm. Quit it! It's the truth, it's so obvious. Seriously, is it really? Oh yeah. Shit, do you think he knows? Yes. 100%. Totally. Boys are stupid, Ashley. I bet he's clueless. Cool. Thanks, Molly. Donna, did you think Chris was cute? Ew, stop it, Lindsay! <laughs> 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 All right, welcome back, everybody. I hope everyone had a chance to settle into your cabins, mingle a little bit, and you're ready for an exciting seven weeks. Today's itinerary is flexible, so feel free to explore the campgrounds and familiarize yourself with them. Snacks will be at the mess hall, dinner will be at 8, and the curfew is at 11. The rest of the day is yours. Enjoy! Be free, campers! Stop! <laughs> Who's up for a game of volleyball? Yeah! yeah! Come on, let's do this thing! Let's go! We're going down! Are you coming? No, thanks. Come with us, it'll be fun, I promise. Um. You only get seven weeks here. You have to make the most of it. Okay, fine. <laughs> All good. You sure? You haven't played once. Yeah, I was just gonna head back to the cabins. Okay, have fun. Let's keep this game going. Yeah! Woo! an early morning but get used to it seven more weeks of this and we got a big activity planned today where's molly she's still asleep really after three bugle wake-up calls i guess wow sound sleeper all right breakfast is at the mess hall and then we have a big activity planned on the main field 
Ashley, can you please go get Molly and then meet us on the field? On it. All right, come on campers. Almost ready? Yeah. Oh, do you know the itinerary for today? Yeah, they told us at breakfast. It's volleyball, lunch, and then a hike. All I know is that the first ghost stories of the summer are told tonight. Ooh, exciting. Super exciting. Camp tradition. To the field we go. Okay, everybody, let's get into teams. A water balloon fight. Yeah. Yeah. As per Camp Starfall tradition, us counselors must tell all of you the very first ghost story of the summer. Ooh. Tonight's story is a classic here at Camp Starfall. Back in 1978, when Camp Starfall first came to be, there was a kid named Brad. Now Brad came from a wealthy family, so no problems in his life. <laughs> Sounds like a brat to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after a campfire, Brad goes missing, and my dad and his counselors went out looking for him, but they never found him. It was as if he vanished into thin air. He was never to be seen again. Is this a true story? Shut up, Molly! Now, one camper goes missing every single summer with no trace of them left behind. We call him the Starfall Slasher. Wait, so one camper goes missing each summer? That's right. So that means one of us is going missing this summer? Well, there's one catch. What is it? The camper who goes missing each summer. Yes? Disobeys the camp rules, and that's the camper's punishment. This is total bullshit! Wouldn't be so sure about that. And now, the Starfall Slasher roams and patrols these here woods, making sure every camper follows the camp rules. And that's the ghost story of the night. I hope we scare you all. That's totally My parents said I could do Chinese one. I'm gonna go to bed. I can go with you. No, it's okay, Nancy. Thanks, though. Are you not scared? It's just a ghost story. It's not real. All right, campers. I'm hitting the hay for the night. Already? Indeed. You scared? Never. See you tomorrow. All right, so I'll see all you boys in the bunk in an hour? Yes, sir. You got it. See you there. Cool. 1400 calories. <laughs> Molly, you okay? Totally, yeah. They didn't scare you too badly, did they? No, no, I, I don't get scared easily. Okay, good. Because we tell ghost stories all the time. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone ready for a hike? Yes, let's go! Do we have everyone? Has anyone seen Ricky? He wasn't in the cabin this morning. And I didn't see him when we got back last night either. Oh, okay, maybe he ran an errand. He didn't tell anyone. That's not like him. Okay, well, let's just get on with our hike. I'm sure we're gonna catch up with Ricky later. Can't think Ricky's out. Hopefully I'm a good one. Yeah, I know. I don't ever watch I, yeah, neither. Ooh, that's good. What's he doing? 
doing out here? The Starfall Slasher. Oh my gosh. Everyone, report to your cabins right now! I, I have to call my dad. Molly, come with me! Everyone, buddy system right now! All right, everyone, back to your cabins. Dad? Dad, can you hear me? Hey, Rose? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. What happened? The power go out? No, it's, it's Ricky. I don't... Something happened. What? What is... I don't know. No, Ricky's dead. I heard it was an accident. I overheard Rose saying that he tripped and fell on a rock. But why was he out there? Something's not adding up here. Well, who saw him last? All of us. At the pavilion, remember? Ashley left. And then Ricky left right after. What are you implying? Nothing, just the fact that he left right after you. I don't know what you're talking about. I went right back to the bunks. Just seems oddly suspicious. Especially since you had a fling going on. A fling? There was no fling, no fling at all. You liked him. I'm tired. That's suspicious. Good night. So, what are you up to? Just thinking. Cool. Word around camp is that cops came and investigated around last night. The cops? Yes, and get this. What? They found Ashley's DNA on Ricky's clothing and face. So we're living with a murderer? Crazy, right? Yeah. Two, Two words. words. Second, Second word. word. Punch. Fight. 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 Okay. First, First word. word. Ball. Ball. Dodge. Ball. Dodge. Boulder. Uh, Snowball fight. Good job, Molly. Hey, campers. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hi. Has anybody seen Lindsay? I've been looking for her everywhere. Uh, everyone stay put. I'll go look. Uh, we should go together, Chris. Right. Buddy system. Everyone go look. So, how are you so good at charades? I don't know. Grew up playing with my mom. Nice. What the hell was that? Let's go. Oh my god, Lindsay! Lindsay! Holy shit. She's dead? Everyone back to your cabins. We'll figure this out. Oh. oh. Holy... Holy shit, what do I tell the parents? That's somebody's kid. Now they're not coming home. Let's get the campers back to their cabins. Yeah, let's go. Did you see her? Her throat was slit. Did you see the A on her shirt? What do you think it stands for? Ashley, duh. Shh, she's right over there. She's gotta be the killer. You think so? Oh, I know so. I'm glad I don't have to share a bunk with her. She told me to meet her in the woods later today. She what? Yeah, at 5 p.m. Sounds like you're the next victim, Nancy. Not if we stop her. And how would we do that? We beat her at her own game. We wait for her. She'll fall right into her own trap. I'll be the bait. Molly, you in? Yeah, I'm in. We know you're the killer. What? The killer? Guys, 
Let me go! Stop fighting! We know it's you! Give up! It's not me! I'm not the killer! Stop fighting back! There's no use. Stay still! You left clues! What are you talking about? Convenient how Ricky left moments after you did after the ghost stories and winded up dead the next morning now, isn't it? It's not what you think. And it's funny how your DNA was left all over Ricky's clothing and face. We were making out! Of course my DNA was all over him! And then the shirt Lindsay had on when she died. It had an A on it when we found her. I'm being set up! And you told Nancy to meet you here in the woods. To talk to her, not to kill her! Someone's here. Who found us? Who's there? We gotta go. Run! Ah! Get Guys! Out of, get out of here! Guys! Hey. Oh, Evan, hi. You okay? Kind of, you? Just shaking up. Yeah. Yesterday was crazy. I guess Ashley wasn't the killer after all. Yeah. Nancy was the one who told us to go to the forest yesterday. Are you saying that- That Nancy was the killer? Yes. Oh. Makes sense, right? I guess so. Nancy killed Ricky after the ghost stories that night on the way back to her bunk. And then she framed Ashley for it. And finally, she made up a lie that Ashley said to meet her in the forest. She got us all in the same area and then killed Ashley. Something wrong? I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh. I'm going on a walk. Do you want me to come See with you? See you later. Donna? Donna, is that you? What's wrong, Molly? Donna, I just found her. She's dead. What? You just found her? <laughs> yes, I found her. I know it sounds suspicious, but I swear I just found her, their throat slit. And you didn't see anything? No, I just found her. Right. I'll go get Chris to call the cops. I can't believe Donna's dead. Me neither. I can't believe Molly found her dead. Suspicious if you ask me. She found her like that. Total bull. I know she's the killer. Oh yeah? Yeah, she's been a freak all week. A freak? She doesn't say a word. She's never been to sleepaway camp and she just decides to come this year and then all of a sudden everything goes to shit? I don't know, Nancy. Well, I do. And I'll do whatever it takes to stay alive. Like you said, I'll do whatever it takes to stay alive. Sorry, Nancy. What? Sad you can't complete your next kill? Ah! What should we do about Ricky? Yeah. I mean, when do we start telling parents? I don't know. I mean. Ah! Was that Evan? And Nancy. Where's Jessica? And Jason.
Jessica? Oh my gosh, Abby! Are you okay? Molly? I'm so sorry. Shit, dead end. looking for you everywhere. I was with Jason, but when we heard Evan scream, we got split up. Oh, we gotta find Abby. Abby! 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 Ah! Is that Jason? It sounded like him. Um, hey, we're gonna be okay, all right? Yeah, we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna go, okay, you stay right here. I'm gonna go get us help. Stay here. Uh, yes, alone? yes, yes, you're gonna be fine, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back, alright? I'm the killer? I don't know. You're lucky I don't kill you. Get down. Molly, stay quiet. I need to think. Fuck. I have to go out there. But you'll be killed. See, both he has a knife. I have a knife. It's a fair fight. Rose, no, just stay here. Come again soon. <laughs>